Yes, yes, Blade fam, what is good? Welcome to episode number 15 of Blading with Bill. So, you guys probably noticed that we missed an episode. Well, no, that's not fair to say. We didn't miss an episode, we just had a week gap in between episode 14 and 15. So, as you guys know, I'm quite new to YouTube and I'm definitely new to vlogging. So, my aim at the start of the year was to bag out an episode every single week throughout the year. Now that I've got into it, it's definitely a little bit more time consuming than not what I've realized. So it's a minimum of a full day filming for the vlog and that's literally morning to evening, hardly any rest, just a solid day out. Then it's a minimum of half a day for editing. Obviously I've got to put the YouTube video together. That takes around half a day. I've then got to do snippets, teasers and reels for Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Then uploading it to YouTube takes time in itself. You've got to write the description, the bio, there's hashtags to put in, you've got to put all your links in. So yeah, it definitely takes up a little bit more time than I realized. And until I get stuck into it and actually doing it, I wasn't sure how it was gonna work on my schedule and other stuff like that. Obviously, I've still got to work. I've got responsibilities as an adult. Um, I've got family stuff to do. And I still wanna go and skate and do regular skating. I'm also filming a section for Blank. I'm putting together a quite lengthy montage of all the guys in the Southwest, and I'm still just going out on normal sessions and doing little Instagram bits and stuff like that as well. So yeah, I've realized that it's not gonna be feasible to do one every single week. So from now on, they might be every other week. If I can still do one once a week, I'm definitely gonna do it because I really, really do enjoy making these. But at the same time, I don't want it to feel like a chore and it to sort of take the fun out of doing it. So, like I said, it may be every other week. Sometimes there may even be a bigger gap, but I'm still going to try and do them weekly. Just thought I'd give you guys a little explanation as to why there was that week gap. And it just sort of lets you know as and when they're going to be coming out. Obviously, if they're every other week, it just gives you guys a little bit more time to get excited about seeing it. So, yeah, there you go. That's why we had the little week gap. I'm still going to keep smashing them out. I'm still really enjoying it and it seems like you guys are as well. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Thanks for understanding. So yeah, that rolls us straight into episode number 15. So today's little challenge is we're going to try and skate 15 different street spots. Uh, that's quite cool. I've only just realised that we're doing episode 15 and it's 15 street spots. <laughs> Didn't plan that. That's worked out quite well. So uh, originally I was actually going to do 20 street spots, but after doing the math, the very simple math, um, I realised that that would mean one street spot every half an hour for 10 hours straight. Um, not that that's not doable, but we still don't have an awful lot of light. I know the clocks have gone forward, but it still gets dark at about half seven now. And that's not taken into account having like a lunch break, just having like a little cool down between spots and the travel between spots. So 20 is a bit of a push. So we're going for 15. That's still a spot every half hour for seven and a half hours straight. Um, we're just going to see how it goes. So last night, I wasn't too sure whether to do Cornwall or whether to do Plymouth. Um, we have done quite a few episodes in Cornwall already. Not that it would have been a problem to go back there, but it's an hour and a half driving each way minimum. And then driving between spots is also going to take up a lot of time. So I think tactically going to Cornwall is just going to take up too much of a chunk travel wise. So I'm going to stick to Plymouth. Obviously, Plymouth is where I live. It's my hometown. It's Britain's Ocean City. So it should work. Um, the first spot is literally five minutes away. I've got a list of about 22 spots. I've got some backup ones because some of them probably aren't gonna work out today. It's the weekend, it's gonna be quite busy in a lot of places. Um, that's why originally I was thinking Cornwall. Cornwall's a lot more spread out and quiet, whereas Plymouth is a city and a lot of the spots are within the city centre. Being a Saturday, everyone's gonna be doing shopping and just out and about. So we're just gonna have to juggle it. We're going for 15, anything over that is a bonus. All the spots are written down. I've tried to plan them out so it's more of a route instead of hopping like spot to spot. Um, it should work out where we can just go from like one to the other. Hopefully I can park the car up and sort of get four or five in a certain area. We'll then have to jump in the car, go to the next spot. Hopefully I can get a few there. There are a couple spots where it's just gonna be like park up, hit the one spot and move to the next, but they're more so towards the end of the day. And I suppose even if it does get dark, I can find a couple that um, are lit up and I should be able to get the challenge done regardless. I would really like to get 20 spots, but 15 is the aim. I'll be happy with that. We'll see how it goes. 
Um, the weather is looking okay. It's the first day it hasn't rained in about two weeks. And I'm not exaggerating. It has been the wettest start to the year that I can ever remember. Um, I know it's really boring talking about the weather, <clears throat> but obviously this sport revolves around it being dry. So yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed it stopped raining today. It's still looking quite gray. There's some threatening clouds, but it's dry. That's all that I want. That's all that I care about. If the sun comes out amazing, I don't think it's going to. But yeah, I'll just be blessed to get out today. Uh, quite looking forward to skating some street. Uh, a lot, well, I say a lot. I've been to all of these spots before. I've actually absolutely rented Plymouth. Obviously, it's my hometown. I've lived here my whole life. So I know, I think I know pretty much every spot in this city. So we'll be revisiting a lot. I'm going to try and not do any repeat tricks, but sometimes that's just how it is. Again, today is not about doing hammers or anything too technical. It's about getting through the spots. So yeah, there might be a couple of repeat tricks. I'll talk about all that stuff as we go through them. I'll talk about the spots. I'll try and touch on a little bit of history of what might have been done at some of them. Um, also, my aim is to get two tricks per spot. There's definitely a few spots where it'll just be a quick one trick hit and then go. Um, there's a couple rails that I'll only be doing like one trick on. But yeah, it's all sort of planned out. There's definitely going to have to be a little bit of imp improvisation. I'm sure along the way there'll be a few things that I might have forgotten about. So we might get like a little bonus spot. There might be, you know, I might be skating along and think, oh, there's that little ledge down there or a little rail over there. So we might be sort of dipping about. Things might sort of deviate away from the plan. But as long as we get 15 spots in, that is today's aim. So yeah, 15 spot challenge, all street spots in my hometown, Plymouth, Britain's Ocean City, I'll see you guys at spot one. Okay, we've just got to spot number one and there is a tiny, tiny bit of sun trying to push through. So that would make my day. I've just realized that I should have bought my new skate set up. Um, these are absolutely destroyed. There's actually a hole in the frame coming through here. So yeah, messed up there a little bit. I just wanted to get out the door and yeah, I've got to deal with this today. So it's all good. Um, first spot is over there. You've got like this cool little line that you can do on the benches, which you guys will see shortly. And then we've got this thing onto the bench that I'm sat on. Um, it does curve the wrong way, but it's granite. It slides really nice. So we're just going to get straight to it, get the skates on and get into spot number one. All right, kind of annoying. Um, both of my back wheels are completely seized. I just started skating around and was really slow. Went to jump to the ledge and trip forward. And yeah, both the back wheels just don't want to turn at all. My own fault for not checking, but I'm going to have to go home, get fresh wheels and bearings, put them in. Bit of a waste of time. Um, I don't have a lot of time to sort of lose today because we've got 15 spots to get through. And also, if you're wondering where the van is, it's in the garage having some work done. So we are in a little go-kart today. I'll let you guys have a little look at it in a bit, but it's pretty damn fun to drive. So yeah, back home, fresh wheels and bearings, back to the spot, skates on, and then get into spot one. All right, I'm back at the spot, put them in the skates, and then we're moving. <laughs> All right, back in the game, back at the first spot. Wheels are rolling, sun's out a little bit. No messing about, let's just get these tricks done. Get on to the second spot. All right, first spot is done. Got two little tricks there. Both felt kind of cool. Good little warm up spot. So yeah, good one to start the day off with. Also, I haven't skated in a week and a half, which for me is like a record. So it actually took me a couple minutes to get warmed up and get back into the feel of things. So I'm going to have a very quick look around this area. I've scoped this whole place before, but you never know if there might be something new. If not, we're going to stick to the plan, go over to the road and hit up the handicap rail. So see if we can get anything. If not, we'll head over there. All right, I'm glad I came down here and had a little look. It's nothing special, but I'm going to try and get a little something creative. So these are brand new. They slide amazing. You've got this in the way, but I'm going to make this part of the trick. And then, I don't know if you can see, but there are two up there as well. So, fun little find. Nothing crazy, but I'm going to get a quick trick on this, and then we'll get over to the handicap rail. You! That is spot number two. All done. And just actually going past the courtesy car. Just let you guys have a quick look at the beast. But yeah, really, really glad I had a look down there. Wasn't too sure if I could actually make anything work to start with. And then I thought if I try and keep my speed moving and go through the gravel, I might be able to get onto the second ledge and it worked. So yeah, really glad I went down there and also got an idea for a section keeper. So pretty happy about that. Just goes to show, even if you think you know an area, there can always be something new. So yeah, it's always worth having a look. The sun is also shining. It's turned into quite a nice day. 
it's all going quite well so happy days just skating up to spot number three which is the handicap rail i'm going to get a quick bat on that and then get in the car and we'll head to a different spot so yeah see you guys at the rail all right we're at the third spot we've got the groupies the guys are on it and uh yeah it feels very slow we're just gonna get a quick nougan down this and then move on to the next one <laughs> All right, quick bat nougan done. That literally took like three goes, which is nice. Egged on by the kids, give me some support. They wanted to be on the channel and then when I filmed them, they got all nervous, so bless them. So yeah, carrying on, quick look around this area. I don't think there's anything else, but I'll have a quick scope and then back to the car, we'll move to a different area. Yes, yes, we are back in the little go-kart and we are doing pretty good. Uh, three spots down, had another little look around that housing estate. I didn't find anything else that sparked my interest. I've just been to the shop and got some liquids. It's actually pretty damn hot today. It's caught me off guard, but it's very nice. We're now gonna head to a college, which is literally about three minutes down the road. And that's got a minimum of two things that I wanna do in there. So that'll take us up to a grand total of five. And then we're a third of the way through today's challenge. So gonna keep it moving, keep getting through these tricks and hitting these spots up. We've just got to the college where we're gonna get stuck into spot number four. And as I was putting my skates on then, I was just having a little reflection and thought on today's challenge. Now, some of you might not see today as much of a challenge. And I'll tell you why I think like that, because I reckon that about 90% of the schools in America have about 15 spots in them each. And you come to the UK, uh, I reckon within 15 schools in the UK, you might find one good skate spot. Stuff is just done differently over here. They don't do the concrete like they do in America. They don't have the number of handrails like they do in America. Things are just very, very different over here. I mean, go to like London, or Liverpool, Birmingham, Bristol, any of the big cities, you're obviously gonna have a lot crammed into the center, but Plymouth just isn't developed like those cities. So street skating here is definitely harder and you don't have as many options, particularly in one small space. So that's why things aren't as easy as what you may think down here. Um, but at the same time, I've come to this college because there are a few little bits in one place. Um, there's definitely not any Cali style ledges or handrails, but there's a few little bits. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you whilst I was sort of reflecting whilst putting my skates on. But yeah, enough said. This is spot number four, nothing too magical. I've got a weird wooden bench with like these little divots that uh, I think my skate will get past. And then I'm not sure whether to like bonk up to a grind on this or just have a little roll on it and spin off. But um, yeah, this is spot number four. A little bit weird, a little bit wonderful. Let's get into it. Cool, cool. There is spot number four done. X grind to back torque bunk on the little box. And I've just watched the clip back and realized that the bench is actually wanging and banging all over the place. Um, yeah, didn't seem to affect the grind, but that's going to look pretty cool in slow-mo, I reckon. And somehow your frames and sole kits do clear these. I'm not really sure how, but uh, there you go. Spot number four done. Spot number five is just around the corner. Little handicap rail. Beautiful day. I can't believe it's turned into this. Well happy. Yeah, see you guys around the corner. Hit the rail up. Yes, yes, spot number five. Gonna get one or two tricks on this little beauty. And then we are a third of the way through today's challenge. Excuse my squinty eyes, I'm just enjoying a little bit of the sun, but that is spot five done. Um, officially a third of the way through today's challenge, so we're doing good. It's a beautiful day, I'm having fun, and I'm quite happy with both of those tricks. Um, I never ever do front rails, so to get the front rail step back acid, pretty happy with. Uh, my stance is one of my tricks, but I haven't done one for a while on like a flat rail or like a, a mellow rail, so I'm pretty happy with them. This spot's also quite difficult because you've got a planter and a wall in the way of where you'd really want to land, so you've kind of got off come off neutral it makes you want to land lava but you've got to kind of come off there and i'm pretty sure i landed fairly neutral on both of those so i'm happy with that and um, i will show you that quickly before we leave but yeah i'm just going to enjoy a quick bit of sunshine have a drink and then we'll move on to spot number six 
Okay, just quickly, this is what I was saying about the landing. You've got the planter and the wall obviously in your way right here. Um, there is just enough time to land, but you're literally gonna be straight into that planter. So I normally pick to come off sort of neutral and then carve out that way. It's probably the best option for this spot. But yeah, it's quite a nice little rail. The run-up's pretty good. It's like a standard sort of height. It's pretty chill and they've repainted it recently. So it was really quick. It's also really, really windy here. You saw the camera fall over. It's all well and good until you come around the corner and then it hits you and the wind was also against me. So it took quite a few goes of just rolling around the corner and getting blown to smithereens. Um, and it was quite off-putting. So I had to wait until uh, I sort of got a, a break between the gusts. What I'm gonna do is have a quick look around this college. I know this place inside out, but there might be a little something that I wanna do here. If not, I'll just get in the car and we'll move to spot number six. take the other one where I didn't land it very well but I don't want to, I want to get it clean.
As you saw, that was a bit of a battle. I think I gave that at least 10 jumps, like top to bottom. I tried it forward to feel it out. Then obviously we know landing fake is easier and straight air don't care is cool, but I'd rather get a nice 180 grab. Yeah, that was difficult. Palms are a little bit beat up. I've not drawn any blood luckily. I've ruined my t-shirt, which is pretty damn new. Sorry, Jay. Um, really happy with that. I'll be honest, I've come here a couple of times before and stood up there and had a little look and been like, mm, like the run-up is enough but it's that one thing isn't it if you don't commit and give it your all and then get to the end and do that thing where you don't quite jump like i know you shouldn't think about that stuff but i do sort of weigh up the dangers now part of getting older i guess but anyway got that one smashed out really happy with that the last one was clean no hands down rolled away nice happy days spot number six done little bonus in the college so yeah quick break another quick break i know i'm wasting a lot of time but it is what it is get back to the car and then I can't actually remember what's on the list, but I'll give you a little update when we're there. All right, back in the car, about to head to spot number seven. Um, I can definitely feel that I've just taken some impact. I've got that like dull sort of ache feeling kind of traveling up through me. Um, my feet are feeling it and like kind of my stomach a bit. Um, Cause I had to jump quite high to clear that rail. The impact is actually greater than the height of like the bike box, um, but whatever, it's fine. I'm really stoked I got that. That one felt really cool. Had a little look back and took a still and yeah, I'm pretty high up there. So pretty stuck with that spot number seven is going to be ghetto rails which are like these knee high little p rails really really fun classic plymouth spot if you've been to plymouth you've probably skated these um there's about 40 of them and um, we're just going to pick one though there were some other tricks that i could have got in the uh campus there like the college um but like i said it kind of makes it a bit too easy if you just do loads of stuff in one place um it's not cheating but like this isn't how i wanted to do today i want to travel around a bit and try and get different sort of spots in same as the first spot you had all like the different benches but it's still kind of the same so yeah that's how i'm treating it today anyway we're heading over to ghetto rails i'll see you guys there all right we just got to spot number seven like i said classic classic kind of spot ghetto rails i'll let you guys have a quick look so we're going to skate the one across the grass which you never ever get to skate there's normally a car parked here but yeah there's loads that go up there and then you can't really see but there's more around the corner and more down here they're super fun so i said at the start of the video that i talk a little bit about uh, the history of some of these spots the ones that we've been to so far aren't really well known but ghetto rails most definitely are so plymouth used to have a massive massive blade scene like year 2000 to 2008 loads loads and loads of people skate here loads of people came down here to skate there's uh, a really famous legend town i say famous like famous for down here called foot highs or rounded ledge um there used to be people there every single weekend like you didn't have to arrange to meet you could just turn up and there'd be 20 people rollerblading and we would spend hours and hours there just practicing switch ups and going for the motions um but yeah this is one of the classic ones that we always used to come to as well uh there actually used to be a thing called uh southwest true street comp which was literally a street comp held in plymouth organized by jamie harris big up jamie you legend um and yeah part of that was here like this is one of the spots on the list we've just come here for years and years and years they're super fun um, this one didn't actually used to have the bollard at the end which has kind of spoiled it a little bit and um, the best ones down the bottom but they're on the pavement and i can really see that there's cars parked there like once a year you might be able to skate that one but there's a brief little bit of history about ghetto rails um, i remember once uh, we were skating this one the one across the grass and someone pulled up and tried to park in front and we said excuse me do you mind just parking like literally like a meter further up and they were sort of refusing to so I think for about two hours we just took in turns standing in front of the car so they couldn't come down and it was like a standoff they just sat in the car with the engine running we took in turns like someone would skate the rail someone else would stand in front of the car and it's kind of strange like you could have literally parked two meters further up we could have skated it but um yeah just a funny thing that i remember from this spot so i put a bit of wax on it i'm gonna mine that pillar and get a few tricks down it oh my god what the fuck Probably doesn't help.
Okay, nice, nice. Spot number seven is done. That was the quickest spot of the day. Um, Ali Soul came third go. Uh, it stuck disgustingly at the start, even though I'd waxed it loads. I have got the metal bolt for up for on my frame though, which has slowed me down a bit. Um, and also had to remove that big clump of mud. I'm not really sure where that came from, but yeah, got the alley-oop sole pretty quick. Then the alley-oop sole to top sole came first go, happy days. And then I filmed just a little bonus alley-oop sole and just about dodged that pillar. Um, a little bit too close to my liking. So just gonna leave it there, two tricks on it, happy days. Move on to spot eight. Not sure where that is, but we'll check in a sec. Right, spot number eight is done, officially over halfway. Um, the first two were sliding fairly well, but the last one, I just couldn't get the 360 sole to slide very well. I'm just gonna have to take it as it is. I think that one might get a bit more exposed to like the elements being on the end. But yeah, we've literally flung over the road. I'm gonna try and give this one a go. I remember someone doing it a few years ago, but it looks pretty ropey. So I've chucked a bit of wax on it. I'm gonna try and get it sliding. The sky's gone a little bit iffy now. It kind of feels like it could do that thing that we don't like. Um, but I'm just gonna keep smashing it out, see what we can get. Okay, spot number nine is done. That was quite a difficult one. It's not a very consistent sort of shape and it really doesn't slide that well. I'll just let you guys have a little look at the ledge. So I don't know if you can sort of see, but it's knobbly bobbly. It's kind of all over the place. It's not square and it's not round. But yeah, that one felt really cool. It's um, killed my skate a little bit, but they were already dead. So I may as well finish them off in style. But yeah, we got through nine, still going. I've got a few little bits around the corner that I want to check out. These ones aren't a guaranteed good one, but yeah, just going to keep moving. Here we are, spot number 10. This one will get us to two thirds way through the challenge. This thing's a bit gritty, a bit grimy. Weird run up, because you've got a tuck in through here. It's pretty high, it's got a weird edge. But I'm gonna give it a good go, see what we can get on it. Yes, yes, spot number 10 is done. Big high hucks on the alley-oop horn. I was gonna skate it the other way. Um, that's how I skated it last time. But for some reason, I just can't seem to jump with that downhill run up and that weird corner. And I've never skated it this way, so it's nice to do something a little bit different. Um, did struggle to get on that a couple of times. Um, just had to like jump that extra bit to get on it. And the three out was okay, but obviously you're landing into like a ramp. So I'm just taking it. But yeah, two thirds of the way through the day. It's starting to spit a little bit. So I'm going to be tactical and try and get a few bits around this area. There's literally like a cool little rail just down the road and then like a notched cap ledged which you can still skate so i'm just gonna head down there try and get the last five in before it does the wet thing okay okay spot number 11 uh, you might have recognized this one from the what's brew in plymouth episode um i probably am going to do a trick i've already done i'm going to come along do topsoil rock and 180 out um it is spitting slightly heavier so i'm not in panic mode yet but i definitely need to try and get the last five done sooner rather than later so yeah try and get a quick one on this on to the next All right, spot number 11 is done and ticked off the list. Uh, I know I said I was going to do a top sole, but I also said at the start of the video that I didn't want to do any repeat tricks. And I did that top sole in Watts Brewing a few weeks ago. So last minute decision, thought I'd send a mist trail and it worked out pretty good, felt quite nice. Took about three or four goes, I think. So happy days. Um, it's actually spitting properly now. It's quite light, but it's definitely enough to make some places slippery. And I think the spot that I'm at now is definitely going to be slippery. And this was the next one on the list. So I'm going to still try and get a little quick something, but I may have to leave this one out and go on to something else. All right, I'm still going to try and get a trick here. You've got this weird notched capped bench, whatever you want to call it. It's marble. It's nice, but it's got these weird little notches cut out, obviously, to be a skate stopper. Um, you can go over it in certain tricks. Like I said, the floor's quite slippery, but I'm sure I can get a little quick something and then we'll move on to the next one. No, go on, I want to see you do it. Oh, I don't know if I can. Go a bit on, slippery, a bit, bit slippery, you see? Yeah. Just add a little rain, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, nah, easy peasy. Yeah, go, bud. Easy peasy. You have a good day, mate. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Yo, yo, spot number 12 is done. It's dried up and the sun is back out. Yeah, all within a matter of about 10 minutes. That is the UK for you. So I'm taking a bit of a gamble on this one. There's something that I wanted to do a while ago and I can't remember why it didn't work. 
but it's within skating distance. I've never done it, no one's ever done it. It's a weird little technical, unique thing, sort of build spot. So we're gonna check that out. Obviously you just saw the clip of the guy waiting to watch me have a go. I've had loads of lovely little interactions with the public today. Um, the other guy earlier, where his dog scared me, had a nice little chat with him after. Um, that's one of the best things about skating for me. It's just the weird little public interactions you get. I mean, it's not for everybody, but um, when you get those little interactions where they're genuinely interested in what you're doing and yeah, just care a little bit about it, it's really, really nice. Um, and I've had a lot of that today. So always love that. Uh, I think when you're out on your own as well, a lot of people find you a little bit more approachable. When there's like a big group of you and you're talking between yourselves, people might not always feel as open to come and talk to you or just stand and watch. So yeah, I do love when that happens. Sorry, the wind has picked up really damn bad. You probably can't hear me whatsoever. Um, but yeah, about two minutes off being at spot number 13 and it's six o'clock. So I've got an hour to get three spots in and I did want to finish on a wacky little rail. I don't know if we'll still have time to go there, but let's see how it goes. All right, very, very quick pit stop to show you guys this beautiful little corner of Plymouth. These are all multi-million pound bad boy yachts. They're made by a company called Princess, which is here in Plymouth. Um, they make them, they store them here, they go out to the sea, do the sea trials, and then they get sent off to their lucky, very, very rich buyer, whoever has got enough money to buy one of these. So yeah, this is a lovely little park though. Um, beautiful view. Police are busy as ever doing absolutely nothing but there you go and then you've got uh, Drake's Island right there in the background and that leads me to one of the future episodes it's like a tiny little abandoned island really really close to like Plymouth Sound which is like the little water barrier and in one of the future episodes during the summer I'm gonna get in a kayak take the skates and go out there and skate it so yeah literally skating an abandoned island should be pretty cool I've been out there before I don't think there's loads to skate but you know how we do this thing we can always make something happen so yeah, a little something to give you guys to look forward to. Future episodes should be super fun. Really, really excited for that one. Anyway, gonna go and check out spot number 13, I think. See if we can get something. All right, spot number 13. What a beautiful little part to be in. It's gonna go something like this. I'm gonna go onto the wall, grind the railway girder that's tucked away in there, land on this wall, and then jump back out. Um, very, very much so a build spot. Um, I am conscious about how long we've got left today, though, so I'm just gonna get straight on with it. Spot number 13 is done. What a beautiful evening. It's been all over the place today, but I'm not complaining. So two more spots. It's about 20 past six. So I've got about an hour's light left. Um, I've got, there's still loads of stuff on the list that I wanted to do, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it's nice to know that I've definitely got it in the bag because two spots in an hour should be pretty easy. Now there's a few things around here that we could hit, but that's the easy option. I'm gonna get back in the car. I'm gonna go into town. There's one tiny little rail, which is quite long that I wanna do. And then I might go to the university because there's quite a few bits in a small place. Um, yeah, I might just call it a day at 15 or I might push for that 20, I don't know. I'm pretty tired now. I've only had a sandwich today. I had breakfast, but I've only had a sandwich and pretty much been skating the whole time since. So yeah, back to the car, head to the little long P rail, which is called Pine Shop Rail, and then up to the uni. All right, we're here. The penultimate spot of the day, spot number 14. We've got Pine Shop Rail, an absolute Plymouth classic. It's about knee high. It's got a little curve at the start, then it just goes straight the whole way. They've read on the floor. This thing's super fun. I'm not actually sure why we don't skate this a bit more, but uh, yeah, gonna get one trick down this and then get to the final spot of the day. All right, spot number 14 is done. One more to go. Hasn't actually been too bad, to be honest. I probably could have done 20, but I've also gone for a couple of tricks that have challenged me a bit today, which definitely took longer. I reckon you could even do 30 or 40 if you just did like the most basic tricks, but it wouldn't be as fun then. Um, I'm still not sure where I'm gonna go for the last one. It's slowly starting to get dark and really annoyingly on that one, I did a really nice UFO to Sav and it wasn't recording. Um, I don't know if anyone else gets this with their iPhone, but sometimes it literally just stops recording. Nothing to do with memory or anything like that. It just stops. Um, so I couldn't seem to get it quite as nice again. That one I landed was a little bit ropey, but I'm still counting it. Time is of the essence now, so I just need to get on my stuff. I'm gonna go over to Tesco quick. I'm desperate to eat something. So 
quick bit of energy and then get the last spot done. All right, just got a few little snacks and a drink. Um, I made my mind up, I'm gonna go to Cheese Wire Rail. Um, this is kind of where I wanted to end the day anyway. It's slowly getting dark, I don't have very long, and it is like the other side of Plymouth. Um, I also want to do a fish brain on it, but that could take some time. So if I've just got to take like a sweat stance or a front side, I will. But um, that's the plan. Going to try and get a fish brain down cheese wire before it gets dark, end it on spot 15. Let's see if we can do it. Here we have it, spot 15, last spot of the day. Cheese wire rail, she's got weird run up, super thin. If you land on the other side, it's game over. That floor is absolutely horrendous. It goes like shit off a shovel. It's silly quick. It's a weird shape, but I kind of love it. And yeah, it's in a beautiful spot. So what better place to get the last trick of the day done? Like I said, I'm gonna get a quick sweaty, try and get that fairly quick, and then try and get a fish brain down it. Let's see how it goes. All right, the tiredness has definitely caught up with me. It's getting dark, got the challenge done. Sadly, didn't get the bonus fish brain. I have done that before, but it would have been nice to do it again. It did take me a long, long time before. That lamppost is just so in the wrong place and the floor is garbage, but hey-ho, um, I'm knackered. I need a shower, I'm gonna sort myself out. Then when I'm home, we'll do a little, little recap on the day, have a chat about it all. See you back at mine. What's up guys? I am back home and reunited with my little chap. I think he's been sunbathing all day, a little bit like his dad. So there you go, episode 15, the 15 spot challenge. And we got it done. Um, <laughs> I've had a really, really fun day. Really enjoyed myself. Uh, can't believe the sun came out. That just made everything that little bit more enjoyable for me. Obviously, <clears throat> we had that little shower in the middle of the day, but that didn't last long. Got all 15 spots done. Um, I was particularly happy with quite a few of the tricks. Like I said, the 180 gap, I was really, really stoked with. I did battle for that one. Um, my hands are actually feeling quite sore now, and I can just feel like the impact on my body, but I'm okay. Um, the alley -oop porn I did on that high ledge, that was quite a struggle to get up to because it is over waist, it sort of sits here on me. So that was quite a struggle, but I'm glad I got that one. Um, the curved ledge, not curved, but like the rounded top ledge, I wasn't sure if I could even get that to slide. So I was pretty happy with the front nougan I did on that. And yeah, some of the other tricks were just pretty fun. Um, the only repeat trick I think was the back UFO step to Savannah on Pine Shop Rail, but skated uh, two new spots, which is pretty cool because obviously I've rinsed everything in Plymouth. Um, but yeah, all round successful day. I do think I could have got up to 20 today, but I don't think the trick quality would have been quite as high. Not that there was anything incredible, but like I didn't want to sort of step down from the quality of tricks. I think if you weren't filming a vlog and you didn't have to film in between and stuff like that, you could easily do 40 spots in a day, I reckon. That's just like an estimate, but I think you could in the right city or the right sort of area that's got a lot of condensed spots. I think that's totally possible. But yeah, today's been super fun. Really nice to skate. Plymouth, don't really skate here a lot, even though I live here. Hardly anyone in the area actually skates. Um, I don't know of anyone anymore that actually skates in my hometown. Um, there's people sort of dotted about, there's some people in Cornwall, there's a few people in like the surrounding towns and stuff, but um, it is kind of only me that's here now, unfortunately. But it is what it is, it makes me go out and do fun stuff like this. I still really enjoy skating on my own, and um, setting these challenges definitely helps, because it gives like a little bit of focus and a bit of purpose to the days. You're not just sort of going out, sort of, you know, dawdling around trying to work out what to do. You've actually got like a challenge and a an name and something to work towards. So that definitely helps out. <clears throat> um, whilst I was having my dinner, I quickly sort of chucked all the footage into the timeline. And this is gonna be quite a long episode, so I'm not gonna really talk anymore on the outro. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. That was episode 15. Uh, give the video a like, leave a comment, leave me any feedback, share the video with your friends, hit the subscribe button. I'm nearly at a thousand. That would help an awful lot. Um, yeah, just, Keep supporting me. I'm going to keep supporting you. I've got my Patreon as well. The link's going to be down below for that. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.